tomorrow we gather around grateful for everything around us family the football and of course the food now all that fun might have you dozing off before halftime so i'm here to explain the science behind what puts you in that food coma the fourth thursday in november is thanksgiving where loved ones meet and eat mains sides and of course dessert. By the end of the meal, you're probably ready for a nap, like me right now. <gasps> but why? People who don't eat the turkey still get hit with that food coma. So turkey's not really the culprit. What's to blame is an amino acid called tryptophan. Chicken and other protein-rich items have tryptophan as well, but turkey gets that bad rap for making you want to take a nap. We may have to shift our sleepy side eyes from the poultry to the carb-heavy side dishes. The body is set up to release insulin to react to the increase in glucose while digesting food. Insulin absorbs other amino acids, therefore giving tryptophan a first-class ticket to the brain. In the brain, tryptophan helps to make the neurotransmitter called serotonin, which then precedes the sleepy hormone called melatonin, and that's what knocks you out. Well, there are a few other factors that impact that postprandial somnolence, which is the scientific term for a food coma. So you can catch a brand new science behind every Wednesday on Daybreak. If you have something you want me to explain or questions the kids might have about science, you can email me or reach out on social media.